Hello everyone, I'm Shivana, the Managing Director of SNR Creative. And today I'm here to talk to you about a fireside chat that we had at SNR Creative to process the events that happened at our nation's capital last week. About a week ago, as most people who are watching this already know, there was a riot at our national, um, at our nation's capital. And that riot really brought up a lot of emotions, I think for everyone. Some of the emotions, maybe frustration, maybe fear, maybe sadness. Um, and, and all of those things I completely understand and, and probably have felt some of those myself. So here at SNR Creative, we are all about what's the lesson? What's the learning? What's the lesson? What's the key takeaway? And for me, my key takeaway, which is what I want to talk to you about today, is that what I believe at the core of the riot was revealed is that there is a profound lack of leadership in our country. Now, maybe not leadership in the way that you think. I'm not suggesting leadership as in the person who is in a position, because I believe that just because you're in charge doesn't mean you're a leader. What I'm talking about is a personal leadership. And what I mean by personal leadership is that we all have a responsibility, I believe, we all have a responsibility to, before we lead an organization, before we lead a body of people, before we lead a government, we gotta lead ourselves. And that leadership of yourself really starts with recognizing that maybe there are some gaps. There are some gaps um, in maybe, you know, who you want to show up as a, in the world and who you're showing up as. Uh, maybe there are some unresolved emotions, as I mentioned earlier, some fear, some uncertainty, some frustration. So leadership first starts with identifying that. Um, and then once you identify personally that there are some gaps um, in yourself, then it goes to leadership moves to discussing that, talking about it out in the open, which is part of the reason why we did the fireside chat at this in our creative because I really believe and, and know that it's important to process and to talk through the things that we see. Without that outside person to process with, the fear is or the danger is you get stuck in your own bubble and it's very easy to believe your own propaganda. It's very easy to see leadership as someone else's responsibility. Someone waiting for someone else to make the call, to tell you what to do, what to think, what not to think. Going back to the events that happened, many of the people who rioted at the Capitol would say that they were following the instructions of a leader. And to that, I will say, but what about the leadership that you would possess of yourself? So step one is identifying the gaps that are in you personally as a, as a human and how you're going to close those. Being honest about what those gaps are and why it's important to close those. Finding someone that you can have an open, honest dialogue with about what you're feeling, why you're feeling that, and then a commitment to the, the so what. So now that it's out in the open, what are you going to do to be a better leader of yourself? And once you've identified that, it's someone else. Maybe it's the same person that you discussed it with, maybe someone else, but finding an accountability partner, someone who is going to hold you accountable to always, no matter what, be a leader of yourself because that at the end of the day is all of our responsibility. It's not the responsibility of the person in charge, the leader by position, it's my responsibility, it's your responsibility for each of us to first and foremost every day make a commitment that we are going to be the best leader of ourselves that we can be. And I believe if we do that, then we are much less likely to find ourselves in situations like what occurred at our capital, um, either by witnessing it and even by being a part of it. And if in the event you don't have someone that you feel like you can have a conversation with um, to talk through how you're feeling, what you're afraid of, what the gaps are and how you wanna close them, I, I welcome a conversation. So if you're looking for a partner just to discuss it with, please hit me up, send me an email, find me on social media, I'm happy to talk. And at the end of the day, I am committed to leading myself and being a good leader of myself individually and I hope you are too. Thanks for listening.